In today's video, I'm going to share with you three ways that you can tranquilize your nervous system and shift your mood in a moment. Do you guys want to know how to do that? <laughs> I just finished doing a presentation for a group of about 220 educators, faculty and staff of a school. And this is one of the things that I was sharing with them as a way that you can retrain your brain and recalibrate your body. Because let's be honest, a lot of us, I'd say just about all of us, at some point in the past six months have felt some sense of frustration or fear or anxiety or something that has gotten us into a place where essentially the thinking part of our brain goes offline and we're just very reactive. And so there's a couple things that we can do and we can activate something in the body called the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve starts in the brainstem and it runs all the way down to the digestive system. And it interfaces with just about every organ system on the way down. It's part of our parasympathetic nervous system, the branch of our nervous system that's activated when we are calm and grounded and relaxed. A lot of us, when we're in a state of that chronic fear, anxiety, or worry, we are in the state of the sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight system. And we can actually, we can have some control over activating the part of the nervous system that keeps us calm and grounded. So three ways that you can do that. One is through breathing. And I've shared this before, but I'll mention it again. The practice I use is called four, seven, eight breathing. You breathe in for a count of four, you hold your breath for a count of seven, then you exhale with a whooshing sound for a count of eight. So the out breath sounds like this. And it's on the out breath, on the exhale, that the parasympathetic nervous system gets activated, that the vagus nerve goes to work. It starts releasing, this is gonna be a nerdy science moment, it starts releasing a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine, which turns on the parasympathetic nervous system and calms you down. So breathing is one way. Meditation is another way. Another thing that you can do that I share in here a lot is singing, singing, humming, or chanting. The vagus nerve is connected to your vocal cords and that vibration that you feel in the back of your throat when you're singing is something that activates the vagus nerve. That's why I sing on here so much. So whether I'm singing like, you know, this little light of mine, or if I'm singing Hakuna Matata, <laughs> whatever it is, music is something that can activate that part of our nervous system that calms us down. And then another thing is exercise. Exercise activates the vagus nerve and exercise is like miracle growth for the brain. You actually can grow new brain cells as a result of exercising and moving your body. So move your body in order to move your brain and move your body in order to get your brain to a calmer, more grounded state. So there you go. Those are three things to consider. I had a bonus one of a fourth one mentioning meditation, but deep breathing, meditation, singing, and movement are all ways that you can tranquilize your nervous system and shift your mood in a moment.